It's every time I get these news is when I just were woken up. Why did that sound British anyways? So Little Bird told me that the patch notes out and I guess we'll review it even though I just woke up. Hell. Yeah. Alright. First let's start with like the the general stuff and then we go to the system mechanics. And I might just cover the I might only cover my characters or anything that struck me as interesting. Or you know, fuck it, I'll just cover it all. Free content. Yet. Hey, I'm kidding. So, uh, yeah, typical stuff. Johnny's gonna come in. Uh, oh yeah. If anyone sees this, by the time this video comes out, it should be around this afternoon. Um, in the next four hours. No, 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 four hours. Let's just say at 10 p.m. today, there's gonna be a stream. 10 p.m. Malaysia time, GMT plus 8. So, we'll be covering every change, uh, changes to not only my character, we'll be testing out Johnny. We'll also be see, uh, we'll also be testing out the new system mechanics. So, please do come in. The link's in below. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So they changed the UI, the main menu, uh, significantly increased visual changes, yeah. Uh, so menu items and respective name as well as menu locations or modes. Yeah, the original UI was not bad, but at the same time was kind of bare bones. Which is fine, I don't really mind, because I don't hang there it's too long. System settings, system battle settings can be selected and changed through game settings. Hmm. Which can be accessed via the options button, menu button, and enter key for keyboard input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But simple, basic, or simple things. Lobby, the online matches. Change some visual features to the lobby screen. Yeah, it looks like each lobby. Added a visual indicator of currently current online player count for each floor with selecting floor in rank tower. Nah, doesn't mean anything to me. And Africa is a little nearby region. Check the change the structure of the lobby screen. Uh, God knows what that means. It can now be selected. It can add, follow, block, and report other players more directly by selecting. Finally, but let's hope the report one ain't gonna be you know abused. Online lobby that's not too important. Character select, change the display format. I think I saw. Eh, it's fine. Provide selection criteria to achieve better. This is this is not much. Oh, the selected BGM stage using the auto function is not displayed after the character is determined. I see. Mission mode accordance. Yeah, it's basically updated. Have their their status reset. So they updated according to the new mechanics. I'm assuming. GG World, what the hell? Oh, yeah, it's the big book thing. Others, uh, if a special color is not intended to use by a player, it's selected for unauthorized means, the default color will instead be used. Huh? Oh, so mods. Is it? Nah. Who cares? It's not really important. Battle changes, yeah, it's. The full version 2.0, yeah, 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 yeah. Character changes and fixed issues. Universal mechanics. Changes to universal mechanics. With the addition of new mechanics utilizing the burst gauge, changes have been made to, uh, to the properties of psych burst and the burst gauge. Burst gauge feels faster than before. Cool. Making it easier to use the new mechanics as well as psych burst. So you can burst, you can wild assault, and you can use the defensive mechanic, the push block. Players can now express their individual style. Oh god, I hate that sentence. Via the usage of burst gauge for an aggressive style with a new offensive mechanic, while also or safer style using the new defense flux shield. Yeah, basically. Now that <clears throat> your burst your burst meter is a more involved um, resource, so just bursting and not bursting, a gold bursting and and converting gold burst into meter, uh, getting getting me off, and also. So now there's these two moves which use 50% of your burst gauge. Uh, well, so launching attack, yeah, we've seen this. 
Similar to special moves, it can also be performed by cancelling normal moves. Oh, so it's like a special. On both hit and block, this attack drains the opponent's psych burst slightly, so it's kinda like Blitz? No, don't remember. Holding D will power up- yeah, it's basically Blitz. <laughs> the power of the attack in exchange for extending the attacks to- uh, extending in attack startup. So... Okay, that's interesting to think about. Because it not only guard breaks, it can be cancelled norm be cancelled with normal moves. I wonder uh, just because they don't mention here. I don't know if it means that they, they can't, but I wonder if we can cancel it from special moves. Because I saw some of the moves were special they cancel from specials. Anyway, we'll see about it tonight. Wink wink. The properties are very uh, vary for each character with them falling into three categories. Oh yeah, so different characters have different cases. Okay. Attack with fast attack startup, easy to use in combos. Uh, okay. So, combo extensions? Then. Attack with guard crush, effect on block creates advantage situation. Attack with invincibility frames. For types 1 and 2, the well cell attack can be cancelled into other actions on hit or on block. Oh, okay. So some of them are as a DP. The, uh, the other two is basically some form of combo extension or uh, bl what's it called? Uh, block? Not block string. Uh, basically, it's something to open up a defense. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder the invisibility frames one is people is for the characters that don't have a proper reversal and attack with invisibility frames here. I wonder if it can be used as a wake up dp and no wake up wake up uh wake up invisibility one who knows wake up reversal there we go that's a word for the flex shield a special method of blocking performing the cost of 50 burst gate yeah blocking an attack with the flag while well, the flag is active will create significant distance to your opponent push block okay this this the same applies when blocking projectiles with it. In addition to standard strike attacks, it can block both low and overhead attacks while active. Can block crabs, huh? Well, you don't really block a crab. Well, it's an extremely powerful defensive option. It leaves you in a vulnerable counter hit uh, state for for the second half of the move. As it causes burst gauge to act the deflect shield, you will enable to use second burst after and could take major damage from a punish combo with less oh so it's really really punishing to to miss it you really need to you need, really need to know the timing of it and yeah you're right you can't burst out of it that's gonna be interesting Vegeta. Burst gauge. There, know, were, there have know, been many changes made to the mechanics on burst gauge. Increased rate over time so that you can use more of the meter. Burst gauge. Increased steadily during positive bonus. Fuck yes. Notification mm. is hilarious. <coughs> I bet. Okay, Increase the set amount when stuck to the stage morning, wall. Gamers. Oh, so it rewards you for wall stick. The burst gauge also increases the when the walk on wall break was equipped without a wall The stick. final gamer, thank you for joining oh. me this afternoon okay. or me so wall slumping is going to be I appreciate the heck you can out of it. wall slump and still get um, a lot of yeah, so what I was just saying there is well, I was more to to how long years. I would it would take for me these to changes create more chances the, um, to use John new mechanics Cena well, so, subscription no, noise and I a welcome change for him at least because I think the game kind of slowly got stale after a while, after she, like the, the far end of season two, and it's kind of it feels kind of a uh, for me at least. It's kind of like weird to play it. And plus, Street Fighter Six was you know going around. It was fun. The effects of gold burst, blue burst has been revised as follow: gold burst no longer increases attention gauge on hit instead of activating positive bonus. Oh, what the fuck? So you don't get full meter anymore. You get positive bonus. Shit. Okay. Mm, that's fine. That means it kind of, it kind of, they really kind, uh, kind of want to push the new mechanics, huh? 
Because now it's like there's no aside from activating bond uh, positive bonus, which I'm pretty sure some people with far better skills than I am will probably find a way to use it. But I genuinely feel like it has no real uh what was it called? Not value. There is a value to it. The it's basically like they don't want you to just use a gold burst to get meter now. Like they, they, they remove a bit of the option there. Blues, uh, blues expanded the effective range to cover the entire screen. Yeah, so now this is going to be full screen burst. Uh, which is funny because this is clearly to deal with Happy Chaos. There's no other way of explaining it, uh, how I see it, this one. The gold burst has been adjusted to active uh, activate positive bonus now as it is previously too potent as a comeback method on hit. Too potent as a comeback method? What the heck? Fair as to fair forever, having a full meter. But it no longer has an inst instantaneous effect. The effect, the steady increase to, to the burst gauge during the positive bonus state means that the player will gain more burst gauge overall throughout the match. Oh wait, yeah you're right. You're right. That's actually a good point. So meaning that, yeah, you regain more on hit anyways, along with a regeneration of meter. And too powerful of a comeback, huh? I'm not too expert uh, to say that, uh, to, to put input on it, but I felt like it. Yeah, I guess so. If you get, if you get fucked by the gold burst, you but I feel like that was a great idea too. You give you give up your defensive option. You basically throw and this is assuming that okay, if it hits, if it's blocked, you're sitting you're there as a sitting duck, can't burst, can't anything. Oh man. Oh well. That I guess I guess if the the tender consensus, that's that's how it is, I guess. Because I feel like it was pretty fair. Honestly, but then again, I, I don't play at high level. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. The effective range of blue sectors has been expanded to cover entire screen to make it more powerful of a reset tool. No, it's just to deal with epic chaos. It can now be used to hit the opponent even when they are at a distance. Yeah, yeah. In the Guilty Gear series, each character has a set of weight, with lighter characters being more susceptible to blowback and heavier characters less so, meaning they're easier to be comboed in. This system meant uh, that combo strength will be to just character different weight, making some, making for more information players we need to memorize. Okay. As the as the update, all characters are now treated as the same weight, uh, so universal combos works now. This means that light characters such as Mei and heavy characters such as Potemkin will now be both subject to the same amount of blowback from attacks as standard characters such as Soul and Kai. Okay. 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 I don't know if it's a hot take or whatever. I kinda like the weight system. At least, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, I get it. There's gonna be so many things to memorize, and you probably you barely memorize half of it or whatever. That yeah, yeah. I feel like that was kind of cool. I kind of like it when characters has that thing. Okay, there's probably other ways to make a game fun. I kind of like that memorizing aspect of it, and I get it. I get it. It's like oh, too much uh, to memorize and everything. And hell, I don't even remember. I even I didn't even know some of the heavy character. Uh, I didn't never. I've never adjusted for like uh, combos and stuff like that because you know, by my characters probably have my characters for the most part have like a very universal combo where it just works with anyone. And I mainly react. Uh, I mainly like focus on like oh, I guess if I'm at finding this certain character, I guess I'll adjust according to whatever whatever I I drop. Anywho, having it. Okay, it's cool that having it the same weight and everything so that people have to memorize less and having to adjust less, but... Damn. I kinda like it just... just because it's kinda neat. It's kinda like a neat... Like, uh, small tippet stuff. I don't know. But, okay, fine. Having it same weight. Cool. Great. Everybody don't need to memorize it anymore. 
damage scaling and counter effect. It is now more challenging to get more major damage from moves that are powerful in neutral suits, such as low risk frame traps, etc. Yes, finally. It's so fucking annoying. Increased base damage scaling on moves with forward movement. Forward movement. Oh. So anything that advances is uh will be will be decreased. So souls far slash. Um I guess. <laughs> I wonder if Potemkin 6k is gonna be that, but you know, because it's carrot. Oh whoa, if it's carrot. Is that gonna scale? I don't know. Reduce remove counter effect on special move that can follow into other special moves. Yes. Yes, thank you. Fucking Souls Bandit Revolver ish. Reduce the damage of overheads and command grabs. Eh, okay, that's okay. That's, that's whatever. Blood Assault added. Burst Gage added. Yellow Psych Burst. Yeah, yeah. We already read this. Right? Change of visual effects. Well. Okay, characters. Ah, fuck it. I'll just cover everyone. Soul. Avenir now travels much further, making it easier to approach outside the range of far as far slash. During due to being an exceptionally powerful uh, long range offensive option, Bandit Revolver no no longer yes, that's what I thought. Fuck you, fuck you, soul. <laughs> Bandit Revolver no longer triggers counter hit, counter effect, making it more challenging to go for damage. So they're saying is it's not impossible to do the the the, the thing magic that Soul likes to do after Bandit Revolver. <clears throat> But it's a bit more harder to do, so you'll drop more likely. And that's fine. Reduce start up fast, so it means it's faster. Far, uh, far slash adjusted opponent's animation on hit. God, whatever that means. Reduce horizontal blowback distance. Huh? Wait, reduce horizontal blowback distance. Oh, okay. So it's now closer. Man, no, no scaling. No scanning. Fuck you. Increase wall wall break uh, value incurred, meaning that it breaks the wall faster. Volcanic Viper H version H here. Okay, the lay strike invincibility activation. Oh, so basically you can hit. Hey, wait, is it? Okay, so that means you can get hit from dp yeah because supposedly the invincible dp was the slash one wasn't it the wake up one and you heavy version now basically you get hit a bit oh wow okay banded revolver remove counter hit effect making it hard increase base damage scaling thank you expanded lower our hitbox and her box so meaning i can also get hit trout eh, well i don't know well we'll get hit with that Bandit bringer holding K now increases attack potency, so I'm I'm assuming it's going to be that the longer they're in the air, the more the more it's gonna hit for. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna break that's gonna guard crush. Right? No? Who knows? And then there's reduced damage. I guess if it's guard crush as it tells here. Ball throw, reduce damage, thank god, and I re vortex, increase base damage scaling. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Fafnir, you yeah, have travel distance, increase base damage scaling, increase movement distance. Reduce launch height. I wonder if this means that it's hard to combo off of it now. But oh, you don't really combo off of Fafnir. No, you don't. Tire range, reduce damage. Yeah, typical super. I'm not gonna cover every character. Fuck this. I'm realizing. First, we'll cover Bacon. Bacon. My favorite. Kenju now hits twice, once the projectile and once the explosion. It's a potent tool for dealing extra damage and it sends the character opponent uh, it sends the opponent flying towards Spiken. Is it the one is it okay? <clears throat> hits twice. Okay, let me let me read this properly once. Once the projectile and once the explosion. Okay. So now the projectile, the ball itself is a hit. It's a potent tool for dealing extra damage and sends opponents flying flying towards Spiken. Is it when the thing blows up in front, or is it when the thing blows up at the back, like normally? I need to test this out. 
The next version of Kabar is now faster. Attacks are creating more opportunities to force opponent to block it. Yes. Fuck yes. Hiragi deals less damage as his previous deal excessive damage. Excessive damage, my ass. It's coming from a backhand player, too. Yes, Johnson now causes more blowback on hit, making it harder to follow even after his jumping attacks, such as jumping S. Oh. What? So that means I can't do. I can't do jump S into your Johnson, and when the John, I mean, yes, I can. When the Johnson hits, that means I can't do uh, my crazy, my my dumb bullshit anymore. Yeah, damn. What's that? Four K added stagger effect on grounded counter hits. Stagger effect. What stagger effect? Is there a stagger effect? I don't. Remember. No, no, not, not this one. Of course it doesn't. Just wait till they add it. What the hell's a stagger if I forgot which one that one is? Uh, who cares? Close stand. Close S. Close slash. Fix an issue where standing S would comparatively reduce launch height more more often when used multiple times in a combo. That happens. I don't know. I haven't played it for a long time. Kabari S. Reduce start up. Reduce act. Reduce active frames. Huh? Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't need that much active frames anyways. So it's not, it's a nerf, but it's not really a nerf. Tether, fix an issue where Tether would remain active after using Cypress. That's just a bug fix. Kabari S, remove counter effect. Man. <laughs> Man. And so, meaning, I, I don't know if I can. Or is it just harder? I don't know. Basically, it just means I can't do... I can't really make a counter... Uh, so I can't make... Uh, what was it called? The, the whole... Uh, I can't make it into a decent combo starter, now, reliable combo starter. So I have to rely on something else. Even if it's on a counter hit. I have to do something else. Yo, Johnson. Added launch effect to the former half of the active frames on the ground that hit. Former half. What the hell does it mean? What the hell, what the hell does former half mean? I don't know. Increase horizontal movement. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning that it it throws you off a bit further, so you can't really do much. Well, you can't do the same shit that you always do now. Hiragi. Reduce damage. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Come on. <laughs> Come on, just give us 40% damage, Perry. Come on, it's, it, you do so much like reading and shit, dude. I'm, 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 I'm being a bitch. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, super reduced damage. Can you attacks? Uh, change two hit attacks with on both one hit before and after the explosion, so it will hit twice no matter what. A firework now extinguishes if it doesn't come into contact with the opponent or the ground. Huh? Hmm, I'll have to see it. Adjusted blowback and damage in accordance to the above changes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Fine. So now it's supposed to it's supposed to probably hit twice and probably if it blows up. I wonder if it's a combo starter now because it says here that you you fly towards Biken. So I wonder if the explosion is the kind of thing where if you hit okay if you hit um fireworks if you hit gun uh from the behind of the opponent when the opponent is attacking it flies towards you and you get a f yeah you basically get a free combo. I wonder if that's actually going to be a thing and I wonder if it's still guard crushes. With the new change, I, I'm assuming it is because they didn't say anything about removing the guard crush, and I'm pretty sure it's when the the fireworks blow up. So I can't I can't wait to see it, but for the most part, it feels like a tad bit of a nerf. But this is this feels more like a universal nerf, aside from the parry. The parry, man. Like aside from the universal stuff. Um, the rest is pretty fine, I suppose. But this feels like it's gonna hurt, like it, quite a lot, quite quite a lot. I still need to play it to feel it, but 
Uh, it doesn't feel nice. <laughs> it, and I think it's just because of the nerf effect. So like when there's a lot of nerfs, sometimes an overall character probably doesn't get nerfed like to the ground. But the the effect of loss kind of thing, it's it's weird. So next character I I'm probably giving a shit is not probably I I do give a shit about. Takoryuki, I don't like playing him as much anymore because of that stupid nerf that he did, he got last season. Ah, uh, I hate that so much. The changes to Kamaryuki and Chizuruki improve now mix-up capabilities. Landing Blood Sucking Universe creates a key chance to go for a mix-up, meaning that you can probably go Fukyo into something after that. You will have spare blood gauge to work with. Yeah, because, you know, bite. Uh, bite immediately reduces your, um, what's called your blood gauge, and also it decreases immediately. So meaning that while you do, you can do your specials and shit, and it's still being decreased. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that nerf, which is the heavy slash forward heavy slash. It no longer be canceled into special special moves, which is. Eh, I get it. I get it. Mean, meaning he cannot create simultaneously land a high damaging off the ground attack and go for Okuzeme with Fukio. Meaning that he no longer has his key tool. Uh, not key. His main. Almost like I, I've seen a lot of people do it. So it's like main tool of mix up pose, pose, uh, knockdown. Or Oki, I guess. As it creates significant distance to the opponent when blocked. It is now served as a relatively safe way to open up space. Uh, and that sucks. Alright, let's see. Sending K now launch a, uh, increased launch height, meaning you can probably combo off of close. You can combo with close slash or DP. Expanded uh, her box beneath Nagoryuki. So it's susceptible to certain lows. I don't think I take it. Increases recovery. As. Damn. So it's not as safe. I, I don't remember if if his K, if his standing K was already safe. I don't know. I know I I, I abused the fuck out of it. <laughs> reduced recovery. Uh, so six K six K is the low. Low has reduced recovery, which is cool. Standing close S, uh, close S expanded lower hitbox and her box. So now it hits more consistently, but it gets hit more fucked. Alright, heavy slash added a ground bounce effect on normal hit. So is it? No. Is it like the is it like the DP second hit? No longer triggers ground attack on normal hit. Yeah, that's fine. Increases launch height after ground bounce on counter hit. So I'm assuming that this is the 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 new uh not combo starter. Sort of, not really. I don't know. Added guard crush effect. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. No longer cancel into special attacks. I'll be honest, the no longer cancels into special attacks is understandably why. But I kind of feel like the guy that's. Uh, yeah, you know, fuck it, the guy deserves it. <laughs> Kamaruki. The Beyblade, I think. Change the mid attack to a low attack. So now Beyblade is a low, which is interesting to say the least. Increase base damage scaling. Yeah, I've got stuff for advancing move. Increase the mid combo blowback scaling uh, if it leads into a combo. If it leads into a combo. Mid combo blowback scaling. Are you saying that you're more likely to drop it if you use Beyblade too much? Uh, or you use Beyblade in a combo? Is that what it is? Shizuruyuki, uh, that's DP. Increased base damage scaling, yeah, and wait, what? Is it forward defensive? I guess so, it's a bit of forward defensive. Change second hit from mid to overhead attack, which is neat. You can actually feel- Oh, yeah, because people kept blocking- Yeah, because Nagoryuki, oh, the only way to beat Nag- Uh, not beat. The only way to catch Nagoryuki's mid uh, shit is usually that he doesn't have a real overhead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he had dust, but that's about it. 
increase commit combo blue back scaling for the second hit if it leads into a combo so meaning that if you start with the second hit and you're going to not do as much damage which is fine so knuckle yuki kind of got buffed in certain areas and kind of got nerfed in certain areas so i don't know i'm not i'm not i'm not good enough to say this but from what i'm seeing Nagoryuki's playstyle is going to be changed. Not drastically, but it's going to be changed. Especially uh, especially with the Oki setup now, no longer be able to do that. And I'm pretty sure um, Crouching Slash only hits for a certain range, because I keep, I, I've seen people use 2S to, to do Oki shit. But from the looks of it, he's going to change, but not, not too drastic. He doesn't get, he's not being nerfed. But he's not getting. He got buffed, but he's, he's not getting like he's not season one Nago per se. That's fine. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see what other characters that I'm pretty interesting in here. I know there's a new moose. Uh, May can shoot. Yeah, and I already. Oh yeah, I I already read through this. Um, like the night before I fell asleep. But it was so late at night, I wasn't planning on recording it until they wake up. May got a dolphin where she can jump off or just drop from the dolphin straight up. Uh, Foz can now hold her items, like I uh, think 9 Phantom with her stocks. And she can throw the other different items and you can store the one and Dandan P will just use it. Zato can now shoot, yeah let me see if I remember correctly. Uh, break the law, yeah. Uh, pressing down down while Eddie is summoned and grounded all now allows Zato and Eddie to switch position. Yeah, they can switch position now, which is insane. Um, also grab. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, so Ram gets a new special where it pulls the opponent, so you can actually do. Far slash, heavy slash into move, and you can uh, loop. Not loop. You're not supposed to. Loop. I'm not sure if you can with a block string like that. I don't know. If, I know it's probably not going to be a true block string, but uh, we'll see. Have to see about that. And Geo gets a command dash, uh, quote unquote command dash, with four follow ups, which is like her powered up version of her specials. Ing, I haven't read properly, but did they add it? Uh, Madari, uh, during, oh my god, what, which one is this one again, is this the B dance, a B spin, or the, uh, Madari, uh, available after we're standing attack with, uh, hook, I still need some more, whoever works at our system works need to put the fucking commands at times, this makes him better at being able to challenge opponents, jab, and projectiles, he can, better damage with one heavy, yeah. Essentially, um, as wait, as he still can get better damage in response to heavy attacks with the opponent by countering with close slash, rather than using a follow up push. Uh, the deposit the position uh, can now be changed by putting for what's this one again? Uh, P after Fujin. Oh, the projectile holding forward to start up now alters uh, travel distance. Oh, okay, you can mix that up now. Sheesh. Move counter effect. Mm -mm. Okay, fine. Uh, Nagiha. Nagiha's. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, god, now I'm confused. Um, piece of projectile. K is low, right? Nagiha is. Oh my god, I have to actually check this later. <laughs> but basically, now the guy got this, which I don't even know what the hell this is. I'm not just, but from the clip, I see it's from, it's basically from spin. It's from a spin, which is not saying much. You know, God, yeah, you know, God, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, Mad, uh, Mad Love Agitado. Which is a 
it's an interesting move now that I read it. Uh, so Eno has a special move called Mad Love Agitato, which performs an attack while leaping forward. So I'm assuming this is Garner. Well, this is Garner, obviously. On both hit and block, she can move uh, air mid. She can move mid air after the attack to maintain her offense. Meaning, I don't know what it means. It probably means that uh, I can set up um, a really nasty mix after that. I'm pretty sure. And I saw the clip. I think it guard breaks as well. I think so. It's probably it's kind of pretty slow. And also, I'm kind of glad that a lot of characters are now getting more guard break stuff. Oh boy, we all need that, right? Yeah. And I think that covers pretty much the character that got new moves. What does he have a chaos? Okay. I, I want to see if he got nerfed. Uh, ner I, hear, I hear he got quite the nerfs, but I don't know if it's going to be very substantial though. Chaos. 6k now creates less distance with the opponent, making it easier to connect with at the ready. So... Ah? Uh, no? At the ready. At the ready is... Uh, yeah, the gun stacks. Having it close like that, I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. Steady aim has been given additional simplified input, making it less challenging to cancel into other special directly after the fire. No. <laughs> no, I prefer it having heart. Having it easy like this is gonna... Fucking annoying me, man. So if you have an like everyone's gonna think I'm having a house or something. No, no, it's not gonna happen. But this feels odd. But that's fine, whatever. Simplified it, but go for it. I still prefer the 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 hard ones, just because it gives off a layer of like you can't just pick this character up, and it gives this layer of like complexity that I kind of like with the happy chaos because. Uh, the fact that he requires all of this and then juggling all of that, it kind of creates this kind of cool feel of playing the character. But in a competitive stance and also as a player, and some other player who probably doesn't give a shit about the characterization, I get why, I get how that can be a turn off. Using roll to move behind an opponent reduces the uh, forward momentum, allowing Chaos to stay close and maintain pressure more easily. So he's, yeah, basically now he's, he can, he basically after roll, he could just continue his, uh, bullshit. I don't know if it's close, close as range now. Stand, uh, close slashes now, you just continue after, yep, ah, that's what I was about to say. But the opponent can attempt to punish with the, with a ground pro, yep, so, pretty normal side switching stuff. The scaling for fire has undergone adjustment, greatly reducing the damage dealt in combos after it. He now needs to perform combos during using normal moves in order to deal major damage. <laughs> so you can't just gun from the whole entire screen. Uh, you can't just yeah, you can't just combo from the whole entire screen and get the biggest big big boy damage. That's kind of sad, which is fine. I get it. I get why. It's annoying to deal with that. They had to make everything just to go against him. <laughs> so let's see, 6k collision no longer expands, meaning that... Ground throw, reduce horizontal blow back. So they, what they're basically making is him is less of a zoner and more of a rush down. They want him to rush down now. At the ready, yeah, make it simplify, increase the risk level depletion. Uh, increase mid blowback scale, mid combo blowback scale. So that means you can't just shoot your way into a combo. No, you can't shoot your way during a combo. Reload now immediately uses re chaos. Can now use um, can now immediately use reload after add ready. Really. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does that mean? Um, similar commands. Immediately use reload after add ready. Really. Eh, I don't know. It because what it means it feels like here's like oh if you do this you reload faster or something. I don't which I doubt. Or it just means like oh now you can do it immediately by just pressing one P. Yeah, uh, one down P. Could be that. And then yeah, typical power uh super is like reduce damage and reduce effect time. Uh, super focus super focus was absolutely a nightmare to deal with. 
I know, I know probably Asuka. Asuka didn't get any buffs or nerfs, like majorly. Uh, who else am I, am I really giving a shit about? Uh, Bridget, yes. Cause like, I played Bridget, um, uh, Siphon, like, like him. Over at HS, now launches the opponent higher on hit, meaning you can probably combo off of it. Probably. You can combo into Roger Dive. There we go. And rolling movement on hit, making it possible for Gordon to extra damage. E there we go. Roll the movement now. On hit, I'm assuming. Because this, uh, if I remember correctly, you only can do this during... Uh, initially, you could have just do only do this during counter hit. Shoot. Which makes it possible to perform... Which made it possible to perform hard to block, uh, hard to block strings without using the yo-yo. I don't agree on this not that i can use the hard block and block strings but this is kind of unwarranted that has upper uh, upper for upward movement during the start tech startup that makes it more challenging to perform previous things ah uh, not a fan of that without a yo-yo and i guess i get why you want you want the yo-yo to be a core part of key play you know, what's the point of playing her if you don't you know use her 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 gimmicks right that's that's how you do that's how you make a lot of her stuff works her gimmicks i understand why but i don't particularly agree with it no slash uh expand the helper her bucks uh of the first hit that's just fine that's great Sending S, reduce knockback on hit. I think that means uh, you, this is the first hit, it's not a follow up. I guess it won't throw you as far? I wonder if it makes it more consistent to hit the second hit or do something else, I don't know. Or heavy slide, increase the launch height, making it, yeah, you can make it into a combo. Rolling movement. Yeah, because it's a forward advancing move. Kickstart my heart, which is her. I call I call it a scooter. You remove counter hit effect. Fine. Increase base damage carry because of the four moving deck. Expanded upper hitbox and expanded range hitbox. Eh, that's okay. Break. Increase resist level of depletion. Increase mid combo blowback scaling. Oh, wow. Increase wall breaking value nerfed added range hitbox range hitbox is it does it mean that it's no it's not a range type or something I'm looking for okay so basically the spark is going to be uh, more hitbox uh, has hitbox then shoot which is her jumping yo-yo attack remove counter hit effect shame increase base damage scaling shame Increase upper upper travel speed on startup. I need to see what that means. Because what I'm getting at is that she jumps higher, which leaves her more susceptible to accidentally flying over the opponent. That's what I'm getting at. Roger dive in air. Uh. Increase yeah because it moves forward. Reduce knockback on the second hit. So you can combo off of it. Nice. Reduce damage. Yeah, command grabs gets damage reduced across the board. Fix an issue where the number of hits would increase under certain conditions. No, oh, keep it. <laughs> uh, Bridget. I aside from the aside from the universal stuff, obviously. Uh, she got she got nerves. But she got some some fine buff. But it feels like, and I'm pretty sure this season, every, it feels like everybody got nerfed. It feels like that. But we need to see it to to really to really feel on it. Because I'm pretty sure they they're trying to make this game not be too 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 volatile. Right. Reduce damage here. Reduce damage there. Reduce the the gold burst kind of stuff. I get it. Mm, I guess that's that's all that I kind of give a shit about. And tonight I'm going to be covering not only the updates but also Johnny. But I think I kind of want to split this into two. The first hour we're going to be exploring Johnny, 
we're going to be playing some matches. And then we're going to spend at least the next 30 minutes or an hour, depending on how. Because the day after tomorrow, the day after today, which is tomorrow, um, on my time, I have a con that I have to, to attend to. So I don't think I can cover everything on that on tonight. And I shouldn't be covering all tonight because I need to sleep early. So, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deal. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do an hour and a half, Johnny. Thirty minutes of covering covering my characters, and see what we're going to do moving forward. And then after the con, we'll deal with the changes of our of my characters, and maybe uh, start if if. Here's the thing, right? Biken is pretty much like aside from the 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 universal stuff, pretty much it's kind of untouched. But if it bugs me too much, I might pick a new character. We'll see. Cause Eno looks fun now to play. So Eno looks fun to play. I kind of tried my best to try and play Asuka. It just doesn't work for me. And I might come back to Naga, who knows? Or uh, Giovanna also looks fun to, to play now. But I know that's how we're gonna go about it. Cool? Cool. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Like, actually, later, like, later tonight. <laughs> Tulu.